Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, if you do recall the last video, I talked about my intentions of the Trans Am, uh, what I planned on doing, and uh, what I planned on doing to it, and the upgrades, and so on and so forth. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been posting any videos, guys. Uh, I know this is just a new channel. I'm trying to get up and going and, and trying to get with the swing of things. Uh, it's, it's a hard deal. Anybody that does this YouTube thing every day, my hats are off to you because you really got to dedicate your time to it. Um, lately, I've just been busy with doing the family thing. Uh, fam, my family is it is important to me, so uh, when they need me, I'm there. Uh, I I've got to do things with them as long as working in the well goes along with working in the garage, right? I got to do that and uh, you know, spend time with them. So, anyways. Uh, since we last spoke, if you do recall, I uh, told you about the things I plan on doing to the Trans Am. Um, talked about the Young Fellows S10 project that uh, we plan to do a little bit of work to possibly in the winter. Uh, that still on track. That's a go. Hopefully he feels like working on it again <laughs> this winter. I'm sure he will. Um, but... I've had a project that I started about five years ago that I just brought back to home and uh, it's actually got to take priority. I've got to get this done. I've been putting it on the back burner for a little bit there now because I've been trying to get the Trans Am ready for the daughter's graduation and that's all done and over with now. So I hope I can get at this Camaro and really put a drive on it because it's been about five years in the making. Uh, I've been working away at it um, off and on. I really like to get it done and, and kind of well, get a chance to enjoy it a little bit as well and maybe drive it around a little bit. Uh, hopefully fuel prices don't go much higher or won't be able to afford to drive anything. Uh, anyways, guys, I'm going to spin you around here and show you basically the Camaro, what's done to it so far. And maybe tell you a little bit about it. Okay, guys. So, it's a 1967 Camaro. Uh, I'll give you a little background on it. Um, bought this five years ago. Um, maybe a little bit more. Um, brought it home immediately. Started stripping it down to rebuild the car. Didn't think when we went and picked the car up that it was really too, too bad a shape. We knew it had some problems and knew it was going to need some quarter panels and uh, rocker panels. And that was about it, other than maybe a couple fenders and maybe even a hood. Somebody had put hood pins and stuff in it. And I'm not a real big hood pin fan. Um, anyways, started tearing it apart. Found a lot of fiberglass put in that cowl and area underneath the windshield where they all rot out. Somebody went and built it up full fiberglass, so maybe even almost an inch high. Um, sanded it all out and painted it, kind of try and hide it up. Um, really disgusted when I went back to the floor pan and over the top of the gas tank. They did the same thing to the floor pan back there. Even went through the trouble of sanding all the little lines out in the trunk to make it look like it was a nice trunk pan and, and sprayed it all, just hiding it. Really, guys, I, oh, I'm not going to get on any rants, but kind of... Tell somebody if you did that stuff. Let them know what you got. Because I did pay a lot of money for the car. For as I'm concerned, it was just a roller. It had no motor or transmission in it. But yeah, I should have known better myself anyway. So I got nobody to blame but myself. Anyway, uh, went and started tearing at the rest of the car. Uh, when I did, I just kept finding problem over problem over problem over problem. I said, the only thing to do with this thing is there's any saving it at all, and I hate to trash anything, and that is to pretty much buy every panel available. So we got a complete trunk floor, complete floor up front. Uh, we've got a new firewall, new cowling. Every panel on this car, even a new roof skin, every panel on this car has been replaced except for this hinge pillar, and that rail up along the side, your your pillar, windshield pillar, and that webbing up inside there. Everything else, oh, sorry, almost forgot. 
the speaker tray. <laughs> Everything else I have replaced with new sheet metal. Uh, good thing is these Camaros is probably not much you can't buy for them. I think you can buy just about anything. They're a popular car, so you can get anything you want. Um, went ahead and got a Roadster Shop spec chassis for it. Uh, that's I'm currently underneath of it right now. You never know it with these ugly looking Camaro Nova wheel, rally wheels on it, but... It does have a spec chassis underneath of it. Um, just currently in mock-up stage with the car. Uh, just kind of putting things together to see where things are going to go and where I want them to go. Um, Drivetrain in it is out of a 2010 Camaro that was smacked up. 6.2 liter. Think the plans are go turbocharged with it, but not 100% sure. Um, I took the dash and the seats and the console out of the 2010 and I mounted them inside the 67. Uh, it's not completed yet by any means guys so but it's it's in there and it fits it does fit with a little bit of difficulty but it fits. Um, basically this is going to be number one project uh, pretty much till I get it done so um, I just uh, like to play at this stuff for hobbies, and this was one hobby I took on, but I kind of wish I didn't in some ways, because it's, it is a lot of time, and uh, I like doing the smaller projects. Yeah, it gives me a little bit more time to enjoy, than I'd say, my own. So, uh, anyways, this is going to be on the channel as well, guys. We're going to go through this, finish this car up. And get her rolling and make some noise. Okay, so uh, sorry again for not posting any videos, guys. I'm going to try and work on that. Anybody that does the YouTube thing, I really... Like, my hat's off to you. Because it does take a lot of determination. And, and you've really got to put your mind to building videos on a daily basis. And... And keeping the content going. So anybody that's got a successful channel. They've worked hard at it. Give them credit. Go on subscribe to them and stuff like that. Because if they're on there on a daily basis. They're investing time. And a lot of it. Anyways. I'm gonna, I may not be uh, doing it every day. And I may not put as many videos up as some of them guys. But I hope you continue on watching. And uh, maybe in time we'll build up enough viewers to help me do a little bit more. Hey guys, I'm going to click off for today. I just wanted to show you that new project we have for the channel. Uh, like I say, it was not new. It's something I started about five years ago, but intend on finishing it up and intend on finishing it with you guys watching. Okay, so for now, I'm going to sign off, and as soon as I get working, I'll be showing you some more videos. Talk to you later.